Good morning everybody. Hi, I'm Laura, owner and artist of Cherub's Chalks Interiors and I'm here today to show you my next project. Um, as you can see, there are quite a few products that I'm using on this one, so it's going to be fun. Thank you for watching today. Um, if you're watching on replay, then please can you um, just comment with hashtag replay. Um, I always love to see where you're watching from. I'm in the UK. Um, it's a bit of a rainy day here today at the moment. I'm hoping it will perk up because I need to put some washing out later. Um, right, so this piece is an old Mirju um, chest of drawers. Um, I've given it a real good clean with some white lightning, then I sanded it all over, um, and then I did two coats of boss grey. Just it, it was definitely a bleeder. Um, and also I used this for the odour blocking purposes as it had come out of a home where it had obviously been um, heavily smoked in, in the house. Uh, it was a bit smelly, so obviously as I say I've cleaned it all sanded it back and then done two coats of boss for blocking the odours and blocking any stains. So I've left that to dry, normally leave it sort of at least 12 hours overnight, um, but this has been on there for a, a couple of days actually, I've just not got around to, to, to finishing it off. So um, we're joined by the dog today, he's currently moseying around, so yeah, he's making an appearance. Get it on your mug, Toby. He wants to say hello. Okay, so this piece I'm going for a sort of an abstract nautical vibe. Um, I wanted to make use of the nautical life transfer, the new bells and whistles transfer. I've not actually got around to using this one yet, um, and I really like the look of the, the lighthouse on there, if you can see. And there are some anchors over here and some compasses, etc. So, yeah. I thought, so I've got this piece, I uh, picked it up last week, and I thought that's going to be perfect to get creative on. So, today obviously I'm just doing the base coat, so it's going to look a little bit wishy-washy, a little bit of a mess, but it will all come together, as you all see. Um, I grabbed these cute little sort of nautical rope handles on Amazon. They came, so I have filled up the... Um, previous handle holes because they were they weren't they weren't in the right place they weren't the right size and that for these so I will be re-drilling the holes for the handles um, but what I'm probably going to do is I'll paint it all first so I sort of know where I want want that to go normally I'd drill first but we're, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it this time okay so we've got those I have got oh I'll just tell you when I was filling the handle holes I used my Dixie Mud in brown which is great for for touching up any scratches and, and doing any repair work um, so I used that on there obviously you can't see it because I have now painted over it in boss so I will keep this in the fridge um, now that it's open just to make sure it lasts as long as possible with all my mustards and mayos. <laughs> so yeah, as I say, going for sort of a an abstracty seaside vibe um, to go with the the nautical transfer. So I've got lots of different blues here. I've also got a white and a grey and I might add, I've got some other colours um, depending on how it goes. Just going to sort of see what happens. Um, so I don't know if anybody's leaving any comments, I can't see at the moment, but if you're, if you're watching then please just say hi. Um, if you've got any questions then ask and I'll try to answer during the live, but if not then I'll come back later on and check any of the comments that you leave. So I've got here just a pack of disposable plastic plates which I'm going to be pouring my paint onto. They come in really handy. Um, and then as you can see I've got a whole tower of my favourite blue gator hide sponges here. Um, I use them for everything, not just for gator hide, but I love I love painting with them as well, so I'll show you what I'm up to with those. So I'm just going to pour a little bit 
of paint onto each plate. Um, I chose the grey boss, I just think that's going to be a nice um, base coat underneath. It's just given us a good plain base to work on. So, right, um, let me show you. So, I've got lots of these Dixie Bell Gator Hide brush, um, sponges. Now, I use them all the time and I use them a lot, and I'm not very good at washing things out afterwards. So, you can see this one's fine, I've obviously washed that one out after I've used it. However, we've got ones like this, and this one looks a bit old and past it. Um, but I don't like to chuck them away until they're really, really bad. <laughs> so, what I do with these ones is I'll just use my scissors and cut them up. Then I can use them for different effects. I mean, you can cut, you know, then I can use that bit which is soft in the middle. Um, this one I'll probably cut in half again just because I'm going to be creating lots of different effects on here. And so I've got this bit of sponge which I can sort of do some big sections with, and then I've got these little ones now that I've cut up. So, let me pour some paint out. Is anybody watching? I can see a few of you popped on. Thanks for joining. This is a bit of a last minute thing. I've just sort of popped on because um, I thought I want to get the base coat on. I'm going away. I'm going on holiday um, on Thursday this week. So I've got a few days to try and get on top of everything here, but there's a lot to do. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to get the base coat on now. Um, and then hopefully that will dry maybe maybe later on this, this evening um, because I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter I think tonight in here trying to get everything sorted um, maybe later on I can get on with the second coat um, because I want to try and get it all dry enough for over the next couple of days to start putting the transfer on I really want to get it sorted before I get off on my holidays so I've got some Yankee Blue here which is a bit messy I've used it a few times before and I'm not cleanest when I come to pour my paint out and things. I'll just give that a little stir with a lollipop stick because it's been sat for a while. I want to make sure everything's all mixed up properly. Okay, I'm only going to need a little bit of that because that's obviously such a dark blue. And then what else are we going to do? We're starting from the base, we've got Again, I'm going to need a little bit of antebellum blue. This is one of my favourite blues. Again, that's going to need a stir. I've got a whole box of lollipop sticks here for stirring, and I use them for everything as well. It's good to have a good stash of everything so that I never run out. So. There's not really any plan to this design. As I say, I'm going for sort of a, an abstracty look. I, I, I thought about doing a bit of a seaside scene, um, but I kind of want like a, how do I describe it, a sort of a moody ocean vibe for this one. Okay. I'll just say as well, I've got my builder here today, so I hope, I'm hoping he's not just gonna pop his head in and uh, Start asking me questions. If he does, I do apologise. Um, it's madness here at the moment. We've got the the big workshop being renovated. Um, he's doing some plastering in there today, so it's getting there. I'll be in there before I know it. Hopefully, what have we got here? Savannah mist. This is a colour that I really like. I've used it as a base colour before on, on um, a big wardrobe, but I've never actually used it as a main colour. And it is a really pretty light sort of grey blue so maybe we'll be using a fair bit of this one here we'll see <laughs> so I've got nobody talking to me today everybody's quiet I know that it is it is quite early actually isn't it I think it's I think it was around half ten-ish here maybe almost eleven um, and I know if you're over in America then it'll be really early so sorry about that I should have Maybe I should have waited a bit, but like I said, I was just waiting to get the base coat on. So, um, what's next? A little bit of 
bit of vintage duck egg. Oh, all of these colours just been sitting there for a long time in my bowl. They all need a good mix. So as I say, I'm mainly going to be using my sponges, um, especially for the, for the base layer. But I have got a few of my brushes here just for a little bit of blending if need be. I've got a premium chip brush there, that's a bit worse for wear. <laughs> um, tip in my round small. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this, can you? Okay, there's me making a mess as per usual. So I've just literally put some colours on here that I'm going to start with and then I've got some other colours that I can put on possibly on later coats later <laughs> it's too early for my brain to work you know what I mean I think um, right sponges and then I've got my mister okie dokie so I think I'm going to start from the bottom should we start with a little bit of Yankee blue at the base I'm just going to really lightly can you see I should have put this on landscape should I and then you might be able to see that just mist in my sponge a little bit and then I'm just going to lightly dip it into the Yankee Blue that's on my disposable plate. And then, just to get this on, I'm just going to sort of wipe that on there. Now, as you can see, because I've obviously misted it and I've not got a lot on my sponge, it looks quite, it's quite a thin coat and it's sort of almost a watercolour, water sort of colour. Um, effect, um, which is what I want because I just want to build up the the layers um, slowly and gradually and make it have I want to have a lot of depth, a lot of colour. I'm just gonna move you back a little bit, which will mean I can't see the comments so well, but nobody's talking to me anyway today, so that should be fine. You'll be able to see a little bit better, hopefully. So I'm just gonna start on the front at the moment, um, and then I'll sort of go around to the sides later on but we'll just start with the front and see how it goes as i say there's just no plan to this i'm just sort of going with it just see what happens as we go along okay i'm just sort of just filling it out filling it out here i can't speak today oh thanks toby um and i'm gonna sort of blend in some of the other colours and then I might just give that a little bit of a misting as well just to thin it out a little bit further. As I say, I really rarely use this many colours on one project um, but I'm feeling quite inspired and quite creative at the moment so let's see what happens. Probably not got you on the best angle, you can just see the back of my head. Okay, so, as I say, it will take quite a while for it all to come together, being as I'm doing such thin coats. Um, put a little bit of antebellum blue on there, because I'm going to just cut this sponge up as well. I can see people are watching, but I don't know who you are, where you're from. Talk to me, guys. Okay, so I've just chopped this in half. Again, I'm just going to give it a light spray and then dipping it into the antebellum blue here. Again, I only want a little bit on there, so I'm just wiping off the excess. And then just give that another little mist. Okay, so it's just running down into the Yankee blue. As I say, this is going to look messy to start with. It always does. <laughs> oh dear. I shouldn't be having my um, back to the camera, should I? Right. Um, let's move this. Can you still see? Slightly mist it. Don't, you don't want to 
don't want to soak it, you don't want it all dripping everywhere. Lockdown over in the in Australia, then Julie. We're currently out of lockdown, um, and I'm going on holiday on Thursday to Cornwall, and I'm hoping that everything will be open for us to go and enjoy everywhere. Um, we'll see. You stuck in the house at the moment. I'm not really. I, I don't watch the news, so I'm not really um, up to date with what's going on in the world. Kind of stay here and um, at home in the workshop in the garden with all my animals. I've got some goats and some sheep and the dog and the cat and all sorts of things going on. So I, I don't very often go out anyway. So I don't think that lockdown has um, has made much of a difference to me. Although, like I say, I am looking forward to going on holiday on Thursday. Okay, so this is vintage duck egg. Just want to blend that in. what I was expecting I was going to be I was thinking of um, I wasn't going to be venting them this way but now I am so that's fine um, where's my blue sponge not today hi I can see a few more people jumping on now thanks for joining us we're just going with a bit of a wishy-washy abstract seaside vibe with this chest of drawers um, just blend in with these sponges. But as I keep saying, bear with me, this is just the base coat. Um, it will all come together. Again, I'm just misting every now and then just to make sure that the colours are staying workable. Um, so I can keep blending them. I think I'll be going with some sort of whites and, and greys up here for a cloudy effect. But as I say, we'll just see what happens. <laughs> That's what I tend to do. I don't tend to have an exact plan. I have an idea and then it will change um, as we go. I'm too far away. You have a grandchild during October in Queensland. Oh, you won't be able to go. Well, congratulations on the on your new grandchild. Hopefully, you'll get to see them soon. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? Have you got other grandchildren? I'm lucky that I can go and socialise with my family now. We went out for a day out, me and my uh, parents yesterday. Okay. So, as I say, when you mist it with the water, it just keeps it open for a little bit longer so you're able to blend. I'm sure you've all been watching lots of videos um, of blending. I'm sure you've seen it all before. 
and I'm sure you know that <laughs> at this stage it always looks like this. A bit messy, but right. I'm just going with really thin coats at the moment, so. As I go on with the second coat, it should make it a lot less translucent, obviously. If you have tried blending, I don't know if you, I don't know what you've used, whether you've used sponges or brushes, but so much easier with these sponges and obviously I use the sponges for top coating as well um, it just makes my life so much easier when I've blended before I've tended to do um, quite textured effects um, and I've used spray and things but this piece I want it to be quite smooth you have three grandsons Julie and a little girl oh a little girl lovely oh little granddaughter well, as I say, hopefully you'll be able to meet her sooner rather than later. It's crazy, isn't it, what's going on in the world today? We've all just got to make the most of life. So now I've got my little sponge, I'm just going to miss that again. Well, this is the sponge I've cut up into, I think that's about a quarter of a gay tie sponge. And I've got my Savannah Mist. I'm just going to put a little bit of this, blending it in with a vintage ducky. in silk paint um, a long time ago actually, but I say a long time ago, it's, it's been sort of waiting for me for the last couple of weeks to get it finished, so hopefully I can go and work on that after I've got this coat on whilst I'm waiting for this coat to dry and finish that one off. Has anybody else used the milk to call life transfer yet by the way? I don't think I've seen it, um, I don't think I've seen many projects in it actually, I don't know, that's probably me just ignorant but um but yeah I thought I'll get that one out and use that. I used the sunflower transfer finished a piece a couple of days ago and that and that is gorgeous. That was the first time I've used that on the front of a piece of furniture. So if you want to go and see that one over on my page at Church Chalks Interiors, that one was lovely. Um but yeah I'm trying to get all of the transfers used up because I've used a few of them more than once and some of them I haven't used at all so Okay, so that's the Savannah Mist. No, what do we want on there now? I think I might put some. What have we got here? Dusty Blue. I haven't used this one before. That looks like a really nice shade. So I might pop a bit of that on somewhere. Now I'm getting paint on my face because I've got it all over my hands. I often go out to the shop to get some lunch or something and then I come back and I haven't looked in the mirror and people have been looking at me strange in the shop and I've normally got paint all over me. <laughs> did you grey boss first? I did, yes, I did. Yeah. Put the grey boss on because um, I just thought that would be a good, a good layer underneath the blues but also I needed to block some odours, some of the odours that were on there because it's a really old piece that's been in a home where the gentleman that I got them from was a hem smoker. So I gave it all a real good clean first, obviously, with my white lightning. And then I scuff sanded and then I put two coats of um, Voss on to prevent the odours from coming through but also from to block the stains because it was a dark wood. Okay, I'm spilling this all over my 
myself already. I do need to go to the shop later as well, so I'm probably going to get some funny looks, but I'll get used to it. I've, um, I've actually recently moved to this area. Where I was before, I was there for about five years, and the local shop was actually literally on the end of my road. I used to walk there every day. Um, and they all just got so used to me walking around covered in paint and dust and just looking like a, a general mess. But um, I've only recently moved here, so I think people are still a bit confused as to why I'm walking around looking like this. <laughs> like I've been in a paint explosion. I should have shaken this one first. It's um, separated quite a lot because this one's been sat on my shelf unused for a very long time. Being as the water in it down anyway. Right. Now I'm in a real mess. <sighs> okay. So as you can see, I stenciled all of my floor um, not long ago, and then I just thought, as I was doing it, I spent about six hours stenciling it, and I thought, hang on a bit. This is where I'm going to be working and I'm going to be getting paint all over it and I have. <laughs> I started off being quite good by putting cardboard and, and sheets down and stuff to prevent me from spilling it all over the floor but that didn't last long. Um, right so we've got the dusty blue and I need another sponge. There we go. Spray that again. Let's look at this. Savannah Mist and the Vintage Duck Egg. Like I say, I've not used this colour before. Um, it actually looks really nice. I've got loads of colours I haven't used actually, which is crazy. I tend to, again, I tend to find some colours that I really like and then I'll just use them and use them. I, I did that for ages with um, Palmetto and what else have I used a lot? Colour Mustard, that's one of my favourites. Um, any of the greens actually, I really like the greens. And I haven't tried as many of the blues as I have the other colours, so actually this is a good project to try and get them used and discover what colours I've got. Um, and again with the transfers I want to try and use all of them. how easy it is to blend with this sponge, it's amazing. And it will look even better on the second coat. I'm going to have to try and keep patient and um, not try and get the second coat on too soon. But as I say, I'll just get myself busy with my other main jobs. So what I'm going to do, obviously I've got all these paints and my sponges out and that now, so I'll move on to the sides. Try and get a similar blend going on there. And then, I don't know what colour I'm going to go for on the top. Obviously we've got the grey boss on there at the moment, which actually looks quite nice. Maybe I'll get, I've got the monotone greys there. I've got some cotton which I thought would look sort of cloud like. Try and get my own tail without spinning everything, <laughs> knocking everything over. I am so clumsy. Okay, let's see the side. Right, let's just spray a little bit of hair again. And the grey has really worked well as a base coat, actually. I've put two coats of the, the boss grey on, and obviously that's covered it. Um, it just gives a really nice, even finish underneath. Um, oh, paint on my head again. <laughs> it does, it does, yeah. 
that was that's kind of the plan. Like I say, it's quite an abstracty look. But I'm not an artist. I, I'm you know I'm not going to be able to paint an amazing sea scene like some people can. Um, I admire people that can re you know they're really sort of good creating these gorgeous paintings on the front of furniture and stuff. It's amazing, but that's just not you know I'm just not capable of that. Um, so if I can just try and do sort of an abstracty look then I'm happy with that. So we've got the Yankee Blue again at the bottom. And then what was next? It was the Antebellum, wasn't it? Antebellum, my favourite colour. Just blending that in. And then obviously checking out what I've done on the front so I can make it match up on the sides. With that. And then it was the vintage duck hair. If you're interested to see what this piece looks like when it's finished, like I say, hopefully I'm going to get it done before I go to Cornwall. Um, then if you just head over to my page at Chode Chalks Interiors, I will be posting it on there as soon as it's finished. Um, and then it'll be up for sale, hopefully somebody will like it enough to buy it and have it in their home. It's quite different to my normal style actually, but that's what I love. I love just branching out and trying different things. Um, as you'll see if you go into my page, everything I do is pretty is pretty different. Um, I don't have a certain style, I just like to to try all the different projects. It just keeps it interesting, keeps it varied as well, so a lot of the time I come on these videos and I'm learning with you guys because I'm doing things that I don't normally do. Which is all part of the fur. Okay, I'm just going to go over a little bit more here. Vintage duck hair, just blending that in again. I'm just keep checking the front to sort of see how high up I've come in the different colours. Sort of going with an abstract -y sort of look, you know, it doesn't need to be perfect. And what was last? I found a list at the top. So, yeah, this is like I say, it's just a really rough base coat, and I will be coming over and doing it again with a second coat, but I'm also going to be um, probably like sponging some sort of clouds around and probably a few different colours in the waves. dogs asleep having dreams. But if you are new to blending, I would definitely try using the sponges. It's just the blue gator hide sponges. I, like I say, I use them for everything. Um, applying paint, doing different textured um, effects. And obviously I use them for all of my top coats because it just makes it all go on so much easier. Uh, I've used so much of the sun in this, I've almost removed <laughs> all of the dusty blue. Just a bit more of that in there. Don't want it soaking, don't want it dripping down, just want it enough there to keep the colours open and able to blend them in. Okay, so Quite pleased with that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm using the Mr. Bottle just makes it, you know, it gives you more time to to work and to play around and to you know, I don't want to be rushing with this sort of thing. It's quite nice to So my 
going to leave it there guys um, and I'm going to go and do the other side and decide what I'm doing to the top and then I'll possibly be back um, as I put the second coat on or I'll definitely probably come back on to do the, the transfer with you all if you like to see that. So again, thank you for watching. If you pop on to my page and you'll definitely see this piece finished hopefully over the next few days. Bye everyone.